Hello, I am Dr. Ashwini Kumar Panigrahi. I am a consultant nephrologist and transplant physician at Apollo Hospital, Hyderabad. Today, I will be speaking about CKD or chronic kidney disease, the myths and facts. I will be busting some of the myths of CKD or chronic kidney disease. So, uh, actually, the, to be frank, chronic kidney disease, what we see is the tip of the iceberg. So, we are not able to see lot of CKD patients because the manifestations of chronic kidney disease, they become, uh, they manifest very later. So, what we see, the only the tip of the iceberg. So, we cannot tell it is a rare disease. So, it's definitely a myth. So, it's a myth that chronic kidney disease is not rare. So again, uh, it is a myth, I will tell. It is fully preventable. Uh, chronic kidney disease, we can divide into two, I think, that will be better. One is a primary prevention and second will be secondary prevention. So primary preventions, we are looking at when the disease has not set in. So in this case, we should look for the patients who are at risk. So the most important people or patients or persons will be those who are having diabetes, those who are having hypertension and blood pressure, and those who are having family history of uh, kidney disease, those who are smoking, or those who are obese, or those who are a a above age of 60 years. These, these kind of people or these kind of persons, they should go undergo regular checkup so that we can pick up the kidney disease early. The next part will be the secondary prevention. Whenever we have been identified or somebody has identified that CKD has already set in, also for them, there is nothing to be worried. You still manage the blood pressure, still you manage the uh, glucose or sugar, you manage your lifestyle, then that should also be good for the same person. Yes, it's a fact that uh, family history is also important. Uh, diseases, I will tell, like diabetes, which is very important in India, uh, that uh, diabetes was family history of diabetes and all. So they, those uh, family members, they should definitely undergo a regular checkup to prevent the uh, onset of CKD. In fact, there are other certain diseases, genetic diseases, which runs in family, if somebody has some diseases like that, like polycystic kidney disease and all, they should also get uh, themselves checked to prevent CKD. Yes, it's a fact that transplantation is the best solution available at this point of time for a patient of chronic kidney disease. Uh, in chronic kidney disease, when the patient goes into the last stage or we tell at stage 5, then we have got certain options for these kind of patients. Uh, one is dialysis, be it be hemodialysis or uh, peritoneal dialysis and the other options is renal transplantations or we put a new kidney that is called renal transplantations. So this dialysis or peritoneal dialysis, these are all temporary solutions. But yes, definitely renal transplantation is the best solutions and permanent solution because the quality of life is much more in uh, after renal transplantation and economically also it is viable. Uh, it is a myth, I will tell, because uh, it uh, depends upon which stage you are, what kind of disease you are. So I will tell you should always consult with the physicians or nephrologist so that they will recommend you how much water uh, you have to drink. It is definitely a myth. You are feeling fine. That means you are on treatment. So you are feeling fine. So you should not discontinue the treatment. You should in consultation with the physicians or nephrologist, you should do whatever they tell. You should continue the medicines. You should control your sugar. You should control your blood pressure. You should not take over-the-counter medicines or do not take indigenous medicines. Whatever the physicians or your nephrologists are telling, 
please continue that. Uh, it's a partially correct because uh, normally as we tell that CKD, the manifestations, they come very late in the disease when the kidneys are being dysfunctions more than 70 to 80 percent. There you may get some bone pain or back pain where uh, you will get some bone pain which manifests as lower back pain or back pain. But otherwise it is not a, a universal phenomenon of kidney disease and certain diseases in elderly also they manifest in back pain as well as kidney disease. So I will not tell it is a definite a low back ache is a manifestation of CKD. It's a myth. It is never a dangerous uh, disease unlike that of cancer and all because yes, cancer in the last days, we tell it is the last days or it is definitely dangerous or it is life threatening. But CKD is definitely not life threatening. If somebody is detected early of he or she is on treatment, is it, it, it is never a dangerous or life threatening phenomenon. If at all you are on the last days also, there are a lot of treatments available as dialysis, uh, peritoneal dialysis, hemodialysis or renal transplantations. So I will tell it's a myth. It is never life threatening or dangerous. Okay, so hopefully I have uh, uh, talked about some myths today. Hof uh, hopefully it will be helpful to uh, the patients and relatives. Uh, uh, the CKD or chronic kidney disease uh, is a disease I will tell it is preventable. So my message will be uh, whoever are the risk like those who are having sugar, blood pressure, family history of uh, kidney disease, smokers, obese, they should undergo regular checkup, health checkup, consult the physicians and nephrologists and prevent CKD.